your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for watching Arkansas Today. On this Tuesday, we are learning more today about the fatal shooting of an executive pastor in Tennessee. Broads Perry of Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church was shot to death last week at his apartment. Latasha is accused of shooting the couple. She is charged with murder. You see her there, Latasha Daniel. According to authorities, Daniels was still holding the gun when police arrived on the scene. Perry's wife was also shot but survived. I think there was like five or six gunshots in the first the first uh, kind of blast, and then um, there was a little a little bit of a delay, a woman screaming, and then I heard some more, like probably five more. Perry's wife tells police she and her husband knew Daniels from Little Rock and never suspected an affair until Thursday night. She says as Daniels shouted, "You broke my heart!" as she left. Happening in Northwest Arkansas, a local hospital breaks ground on a new addition. Construction is now underway for Northwest Health's newest emergency department in Fayetteville. The multi-million dollar project is located on Shiloh Drive. Northwest Health leaders, EMS, and government officials got together to celebrate the official groundbreaking. The American Legion putting veteran health care at the forefront in Fayetteville. The group held a town hall meeting for veterans and their families at American Legion Post 27. Monday night's town hall was one of many being held across the country to gather feedback from veterans about the quality of health care they're receiving at VA centers. Leaders from the American Legion National Headquarters in D.C. and the Arkansas Department of Veterans Affairs were at that meeting in hopes of making positive changes for vets in the future. I've got cancer. Uh, I don't think it would have been discovered if it hadn't been for a sharp primary care doctor and a radiologist at the VA for catching it early. So uh, we, we, we obviously are here tonight to hear the good, bad, and the ugly. Just last year, 2,400 local veterans were impacted by mistakes made by an impaired pathologist at the Veterans Health Care System of the Ozarks. But Dr. Robert Levy was fired, but not before four veterans died from potential misdiagnosis that were later linked to him. Texarkana, Arkansas will still have two medical marijuana dispensaries. This after the Medical Marijuana Commission approved RX Meds transferring their location from Prescott. RX Meds cited laws limiting locations for dispensaries and property owners unwilling to sell for this use as reasons for the move. Texarkana Mayor saying the locations have not been made official, but they say city staff have been proactive to ensure processes are in place to get these businesses up and running. It's not something that our city didn't just jump right into and say, hey, this is a great way to make a, uh, make a lot more money. It's, it's, it's not that easy. The mayor of Texarkana, Arkansas, says medical marijuana dispensaries could be up and running in the city as soon as the end of the month. Flyers at XNA can now book a one-way flight to Denver for under $40. The temporary promotion is to celebrate Frontier Airlines' announcement of a new non-stop service from Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport to Denver International Airport. Jonathan Neal, the se senior manager of route planning for Frontier, says this new connection will make air travel more accessible and affordable for everyone in the Bentonville and Fayetteville community. Arkansas community really is such a great, vibrant, growing area that we knew that this would be a great match for uh, both the community and us. The nonstop flights will begin at the end of June. Let's take a look at your day ahead. Former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor heads to court. The 33-year-old is charged with murder and manslaughter in the death of an Australian-American woman. The House Judiciary Committee will hear a hearing on hold a hearing rather on hate crimes and the rise of white nationalism today. Facebook and Google executives will speak on their plans to stop hate speech. And taking a look back on this day in history in 2003, Baghdad, Iraq fell to U.S. troops. The toppling of Saddam Hussein's statue causing citizens to celebrate the end of his regime. Hussein was later captured by U.S. troops in December of that year. Also, today back in 2005, Prince Charles married his longtime rumored mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles, this eight years after the tragic death of Princess Diana. The hug